the Nichols were found at a campsite less than two miles from the highway that stretches between Norris and Bozeman. Yesterday's hasty capture was evident. Furs, sleeping bags, and dirty clothing littered the campground. Madison County Sheriff John France, tipped off by an area rancher, ventured into the Bear Trap Canyon on snowmobile yesterday afternoon alone. After less than a mile, the track started over rough terrain, and France had to follow on foot. Making his way through the brush, France stumbled upon the long-hunted mountain men unnoticed. I raised my rifle right about here, uh -huh. and I yelled at him not to do anything foolish. I said, please don't make me kill you. France says both men stood up startled, and the father, Don, went for his rifle. No. Nearly a Mexican standoff. There was, uh, there was those few moments while he was holding that, holding that rifle that I was, decisions were going through my mind. How far am I going to let him raise that rifle before I, before I have to shoot him? Don Nichols threw down his gun. He and his son were loaded onto a helicopter. Both men faced four counts of felony, all stemming from the July 15th kidnapping of a Bozeman woman. The charges, homicide, aggravated assault, kidnapping, and intimidation. Emotions were running high in Virginia City last night. Are you glad they've been caught? Not really. Why? No other comment, just didn't really want them to be caught. I'm glad they got caught, really. Because it's a crime, they should have got you know, nailed for it to begin with. The Nichols belongings were packed up and hauled away as evidence, and Sheriff France left today for a two-week vacation. The Nichols have lived like this for five months, bearing temperatures down to 30 below. France says he didn't think they expected to be caught, but they were probably glad to be in from the cold. Lisa Coates, reporting from the Mountain Men's last campsite.